Hello everyone, you're now with me, Ruben Gomez for TVS News at 5. Let's move on to the news. The Sarawak Health Department is looking for 400 volunteers to take part in the COVID-19 vaccine trial. The trial is expected to start in early to mid-January 2021 this month. However, this is just a trial or study and not vaccination per se, as the vaccine has not been approved for the market yet. The Sarawak Health Department Director Dr. Chin Zin Hing explained that the volunteers will have to go for a total of six visits to Sarawak General Hospital for completion of the trial. He stressed that the COVID-19 vaccine trial is part of a national effort to eradicate COVID-19. For further information, one can contact Sarawak General Hospital at 012-310-8108. According to the consultant pediatrician at Damansara Specialist Hospital, Dr. Musa Mohamad Nordin, the human body is smart. This is because the immune response not only creates antibodies to kill viruses, but also creates the antibodies with immunological memory. B and T cells yang mengeluarkan memory cell. Jadi, walaupun tahap antibody itu berkurangan, tetapi kita ada memory. Jadi, bila kita kena serang, Kita ada uh, memori untuk mengeluarkan antibody-antibody yang baru. Tetapi ingat, walaupun you katakan dia kurang, setakat ini hanya 30, 30 kes reinfection. Bayangkan, kita dah ada 80 juta kes-kes COVID, tetapi yang kena COVID kali kedua hanya 30. Apa maknanya dia? Maknanya, either antibody yang dah turun tu mencukupi, Atau dia mengesahkan pendapat kita bahawa ada memory cell, kalau dia kena sekali lagi, dia boleh mengeluarkan apa ni? surge. They will ramp up the antibodies. Baik. Hebat badan kita. Experts have set a period of two months to identify more than 90% of the main side effects after taking the COVID-19 vaccine. The main side effects could be experienced are mainly sores, swelling and redness around the area where the needle was inserted. Pediatric consultation expert Dr. Musa Mohamad Nordin said the side effects are very minor, however, and could heal within two days after immunization. Semua kesan-kesan sampingan yang kita kenali adalah yang kecil. Sakit. Ya? Merah, bengkak, 80%. Baik dalam dua hari. Sistemiknya, pening kepala, lemah, fatigue, ya? uh, demam antara 50%. Terutama mereka yang kurang daripada 55 tahun dan pada dos yang kedua. Ini merupakan adverse effects following immunization, kesan sampingan selepas imunisasi yang kecil. Yang bahaya, no red flags yet. With regards to this, he urged the people to not be easily influenced by claims on social media regarding vaccine side effects. On the contrary, they should fact-check those claims and be open towards taking these vaccines. Police will conduct an investigation on employers who are bringing in or have brought in illegal immigrants into Sarawak. This was revealed by Deputy Chief Minister Kam State Disaster Management Committee Chairman Dato Amar Douglas Ugambas. Ugambas said the employers' irresponsible actions could affect the health and safety of the people of Sarawak, especially as the state is still facing the threat of the COVID-19 pandemic. Misalnya, kita melihat satu kes di Sibu, di mana empat pati yang ada dapati positif, lari. Kita tak tahu mana dia sekarang, ada cerita dia telah ditangkap di sebelah sana. Tetapi dari Sibu pergi ke Serian atau Peduk-Peduk, mesti dia menggunakan transport, bas ke apakah, dan inilah boleh uh, menyebabkan penyakitnya penyakit COVID-19. Sarawak State Disaster Management Committee has decided to release the date, time and locations of places of confirmed COVID-19 cases effective on today. 
The committee had previously only announced the general locations of detected positive COVID-19 cases without detailing the dates and times of the identified places cases have visited. Its chairman, Dato' Amar Douglas Ugambas, hoped this would facilitate contact tracing and encourage the public to go to screenings. Such measures might be sensitive, but it's emulating Singapore practice in curbing the spread of COVID-19. He said the committee initiated the move and had a long and in-depth discussion regarding the situation based on the recommendation of the Minister of Local Government and Housing, Dato' Sri Dr. Sim Kui Hien. Hence, the info alerts will include accurate information such as dates and times as well as locations through the My Sejahtera app. Ini memang uh, mungkin dianggap sebagai sensitif, tetapi kita melihat uh, berarti apa diamalkan oleh negara Singapura. Uh, jadi dengan apa, dengan pemberitahuan sebagian, maka rakyat umum mungkin uh, dia merasakan dia ada di tempat itu pada tarikh dan masa yang telah diumumkan dan kita minta mereka ini pergi berbuat saringan. As many as 1.86 million deaths have been reported worldwide due to the novel coronavirus. According to data compiled by John Hopkins University, the United States of America recorded the highest death toll at 356,000. This is followed by Brazil, India and Mexico with each recording 100,000 deaths. Countries that recorded more than 50,000 deaths were the United Kingdom, Italy, France, Russia, Iran and Spain. Meanwhile, countries that recorded in between 30,000 to 50,000 deaths were Colombia, Argentina, Peru, Germany and South Africa. Poland, Indonesia and Turkey recorded more than 20,000 deaths. The remaining countries have recorded below 20,000 deaths overall. Welcome back. Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency, MMEA, Sarawak Director, First Admiral, Zin Asman Mat Yunus said the search for the missing 59-year-old man is ongoing with no new clue found. However, remained optimistic and expressed hope for positive outcome today. Zin said the search team comprises various agencies, namely the Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency, the Fire and Rescue Department, and the Royal Malaysian Police. Kemungkinan masa terperangkap di kawasan bakau sebab area itu uh, area hutan bakau. Eh. Jadi kita kesambut itu pun dalam kawasan tersebut. So mungkin mangsa tersangkut ataupun uh, terperangkap di kawasan tersebut. Kerana uh, di kawasan sini perbezaan Pasang surut dia agak tinggi ya, dalam 5 meter perbezaan. However, he hopes that the search and rescue operation today would bring good news so as to ease the missing man's family. Meanwhile, he advised fishermen to always wear life jackets when fishing at the sea. This could reduce the risk of drowning. Memohonlah kerjasama nelayan, especially nelayan tempatan yang buat-buat tradisional yang keluar, bersorangan yang keluar kurang daripada 5 orang ni. Eh. Pastikan memakai life jacket setiap masa. Penting. Kalau berlaku insiden, risiko untuk lemas tu kuranglah sebab dah pakai life jacket. Tapi bila tak pakai itu, apa yang berlaku, kita akan jumpa bot sahaja dengan peralatan memancing apa semua tapi orangnya tak jumpa lagi. The Drainage and Irrigation Department, DID and Public Works Department, JKR, were involved in the emergency works of installing the 185-metre gabion wall. The works, which started on Tuesday, is a temporary measure to prevent the coastal erosion of Lutong Beach. According to Snadin State Assemblyman Dato Lee Kim Shin, the emergency work is to address mitigation strategies for the prevention of coastal erosion at Lutong Beach. He said for long-term planning, the beach erosion control project and the construction of rogue revetment have been proposed and is currently in the evaluation stage. He said this to reporter after inspecting Lutong Beach, Miri, on Tuesday. The Bukit Aman Traffic Investigation and Enforcement Department has denied issuing a statement that went viral on WhatsApp, which stated that police would conduct checks to enforce 
the wearing of seat belts for rare passengers every evening on the Plus Highway. Bukit Aman JSPT Deputy Director Dato Muhammad Nazri Hussein said the department discovered that a viral message spread via WhatsApp was false. He urged the public to not spread any misinformation regarding the issue on social media. Meanwhile, he reminded all road users to always obey the law and traffic rules to ensure their safety. Well, that concludes the TVS News at 5 tonight at 8.45. There's a debut of our program called Gaspi Rasi with Ghazali Zawawi. And a special guest tonight, well, wait until 8.45 in 122 Astro. We inspire your world. Ruben Gomez, anytime, anywhere.